So my name is Jay Freeman. I'm on the board of directors of the Alabama Community Services District. Um, there is a, an IVCSD report that is agendized for today. Um, for the few people who were late, um, I explained earlier that um, Ethan Bertrand, the board president, has requested that I do the report today. Um, however, I am not doing the report officially for the district because the only person who's authorized to do the report officially for the district is Ethan Bertrand. Um, so I have been specifically requested to do a report as Jay. However, I will not be talking about anything controversial or anything, so I anticipate that you will not get a horribly biased opinion, but that's my opinion that you will not get a biased opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we've had a couple board, we've had a couple regular board meetings and a special board meeting over the course of the last month. Um, one thing that we did is we received a presentation from the Central Coast Collaborative on the Homeless um, about um, homelessness issues in um, uh, the Santa Barbara County in general and Isla Vista in particular. We um, took a couple positions of support. Uh, we took a position of support on Measure O, and we took a support um, on the sheriff o Sheriff's Office request for restoration with respect to the aforementioned um, potential budget cuts from the county um, that would have affected the Isla Vista Foot Patrol and the uh, community resource deputy that we have. Uh, we have continued working on setup for our district, um, looking at how to obtain legal representation and insurance um, and looking at um, uh, how to obtain an actual office uh, for, our, um, for our district because many of the things that we need to do require you to fill out a mailing address and we do not currently have a mailing address which makes it very awkward for us to actually get many things done. Um, we have a special meeting tonight uh, at 6.30. Uh, on the agenda for that are three high-level things um, that I will describe, one of which is, I mean, just to summarize the agenda items, um, one of which is just, um, that we're going to be doing some more uh, bookkeeping and uh, legal response work. Uh, one of them is that uh, we will be talking about uh, authorizing a table to have at the community housing offices uh, and IV Tenants Union and Foot Patrol and Park District's event this weekend, the community um, sorry, the Our House, Our Home Spring Fest. Um, we also will be talking about, um, uh, and we will be receiving a report from uh, Ethan Bertrand on ongoing discussions with the university with respect to the $200,000 uh, that they have pledged per year. Uh, and so um, those conversations have already begun. Um, Ethan has been uh, in those conversations, and he will be explaining what the university's thoughts are currently on um, for the usage of that money. Um, that information uh, on uh, there's the, the actual text of the report is already available. Um, I maybe I should have brought some copies uh, to hand out to people, um, but uh, that is something that uh, will be done today. And then we will have another regular meeting next week on Tuesday at six. Uh, the only thing that I remember that we're going to be talking about on the agenda already um, is to begin discussions about how to organize a municipal advisory council. Um, this is something that there has been some pledged support from the third district office uh, financially. Uh, and so we will begin coordinating how that would work and what the political process would be for setting up a municipal advisory council. Uh, that is my report. If anyone has any questions, uh, I'd be happy to try to answer them. Was there any other talk that what was created for, so the university's $200,000, an ad hoc committee was going to be put together and that ad hoc committee, as I understood, was not going to be a publicly meeting committee. All right. Is that still, is there something that's changed on that, or is that still the way it is? So the status of that is that um, at our last regular meeting, when we started having discussions about how this would work, um, actually, I should even rewind one back further, is we sent a letter to the university uh, asking how we would begin the, um, uh, actually coordinating to receive the $200,000. Um, and that started a conversation at the university. Um, that conversation then ended up resulting in some discussion through George Thurlow about how, how the negotiations would work. Um, George Thurlow has been requested to be the negotiator on the side with the, like sitting at the university's table, and then we will be sending an additional two people um, on our side in order to negotiate with the university. Um, we can't have more than three, because that would be a quorum. Um, the, uh, the uh, university has requested that these meetings not be in public um, as they are negotiations uh, and the um, uh, it, it did not seem I'm not certain how else to have accomplished it um, I, if people from the public um, this is report from Jay not a report from our district if people from the public would be interested in coming to our next meeting you could make comments on this um, uh, I personally 
um, we'd be interested in comments on this. Um, but uh, that was the, the um, we voted to, and in fact, I, I even voted to, uh, set up that ad hoc committee. I do not know who will be on that ad hoc committee at this time. Uh, Ethan Bertrand um, uh, has been requested by the university to be on it as the board president, um, and uh, there will be one other person that will be placed on it. Um, this discussion will also begin set tonight at our special meeting. Um, I, I mentioned the next regular meeting because that's when the appointments will be made for this committee, but at tonight's special meeting, this discussion will start slightly begin because we had set up a committee on public safety that has not yet met and tonight may be disbanded. Um, the meeting, to, um, the disbanding that will be done tonight will um, be partly because um, public safety is on the list of things to negotiate with the university and it's one of the two items that the university is interested in funding. Uh, and so um, now we get committee overlaps and there's a lot of interesting policy that ends up, or sorry, a lot of in interesting like uh, policy confusion that occurs if you have something like that. And so we are just reorganizing everything to make that happen. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. As, as it currently stands, I though. That. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the only last thing I just mentioned is again, yeah, and the and the existing meeting that occurred between Ethan then wasn't uh, technically a meeting then of that ad hoc committee because that does not exist yet. So Ethan has had, um, and that was, and I should also specify who he was meeting with. Uh, Ethan met with the Chancellor's Coordinating Committee for Isla Vista. Okay. Thank you.